بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم آه انا الدكتور علاء جميل راح ابدي آه انطيكم محاضره عن البريست على هذا التعليم الالكتروني نسجل لكم اياها وندزها وان شاء الله آه تفتهمون قدر الامكان طبعا هو مو دايركت كونتاكت يكون احسن لكن بسبب الظروف الحاليه اللي صارت ظروف كورونا وجهت الوزاره على التعليم الالكتروني فهسه راح نبدي بمحاضره البريست وان شاء الله باكر نعطيكم تسجيل محاضره الثايرويد اوكي البريست الاوبجكتيف of breast lecture is to know the anatomy blood supply lymphatic drainage of the breast this is important to know what is the anatomy what is the blood supply and what the lymphatic what is the lymphatic drainage of the breast to know the congenital anomaly of the breast what are the congenital anomaly of the breast and to know the andy to know what means of a triple assessment and a benign breast disease and to know what is the acute and chronic inflammatory condition of the breast what are the predisposing factors of breast cancer the breast cancer is very very important subject in the breast so we must know the predisposing factor of the breast cancer and we know how we can early diagnose of the breast cancer what are the type of breast cancer and how can we staging the disease what are the line of treatment of the breast cancer and finally to know the what is the gynecomastia which is enlargement of the breast tissue of the male Okay, now we proceed about the, our lectures. Starting with the anatomy of the breast. Anatomy of the breast. The predominant part of the breast is extending from the second and the sixth rib and from the lateral border of the sternum to the anterior axillary line. This is the anatomical side of the breast in obese women may be extend till the clavicle and to the seven and the eight ribs rib this extension is important in when we are doing total mastectomy to remove the all breast tissue in patient with the ca breast but as a simple draw of the breast, breast extending from, and this, this is the clavicle, and this is the side of the breast. Oh, and this is the nipple. Side of the breast, we extend from the second rib, this is the second rib, and to the six and in obese women will be stand to the seven and the eighth rib this is the eighth and seventh rib okay what are the anatomy what are the functional unit of the breast functional unit of the breast the breast tissue contain of loops about 15 to 20 loops and this is the loops and this is numbered from 15 to 20 depend on the females from from female to female sometimes these lobules the basic structure of the memory gland the number of size and uh, of the lobules vary in uh, from 10 to 100 lobules and the loops inside the loops are colobules 
This is the lobules. The lobules that are there is a number from from 10 to 100. From 10 to 100 lobules. This is a functional unit of the uh, breast. These lobes connected with the duct called lactiferous duct. So lactiferous duct, at the end of the lactiferous duct, there is dilatation. And this is the dilatation is called uh, <clears throat> and this is lac dilatation and the lactiferous duct open in the in the nipple. So the opening in the nipple is about from the fifteen to twenty opening. Each opening connected with the lactiferous duct. The lactiferous ducts connect to the lobules. <clears throat> what is the axillary tail? Axillary tail is extending of the breast to the axilla beyond the anterior axillary line. And in some people, some females, when there is obese female, this mistake of the axillary tail with the liboma or a large axillary lymph node. The axillary tail sometimes would be enlarged and engorged if, uh, during, uh, during lactation and sometimes become tender and uh, sometimes will interfere with the movement of the hand. This is called axillary tail. <coughs> The breast divided to the four upper quadrant, four quadrant, upper medial, upper lateral, lower medial, lower lateral. The upper lateral quadrant extended to the axillary tail, and this is the site of this is a site of la site of more common of malignancies this area why because it's contain of the dense breast tissue because of containing of the dense breast tissue that means there is a high chance of getting the breast in that area which is about 60 percent will be get in that upper lateral quadrant of the breast okay now we go to the Cooper's ligament. What is the Cooper's ligament? Cooper's ligament, it is a hollow viscous containing hollow viscous conical projection of the fibrous tissue. Hollow viscous, conical in shape, containing uh, from the fibrous tissue, containing breast tissue. For hollow viscous, containing breast tissue, and this viscous is connecting and this structure is important because it is attached firmly to the superficial fascia and tethered to the skin overlying the breast. For other conical, conical shape, uh, 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 this is uh, Cooper's ligament, you will contain from the fibrous tissue, hollow viscous, connecting subcutaneous tissue with the skin, containing of breast tissue. So, this ligament is important because it's responsible for the dimpling of the skin in the CA breast. Why dimpling of the skin will be okay? Because, and this is the skin, this is the skin, and this is the hollow viscous of Cooper's ligament, containing of breast tissue, containing of breast tissue, this is a breast tissue. When it, there is a CA breast hair, malignant cells will be <clears throat> predisposed and go to the breast tissue which is containing in the ligament of Cooper's. So invading by malignant breast tissue by malignant cells leading to fibrosis. When elevating the hand during examination on patient with the CA breast, this Cooper's ligament loss of elasticity, 
due, due to infiltration by malignant cells. If elasticity, there is no elasticity of the, this ligament will be when elevating the hand of the patient will be dimpling is hab the skin. When show for I see dimpling of the skin during this examination and the dimpling of the skin responsible due to the infiltration of the Cooper's ligament by malignant cells which lead to the fibrosis of this ligament, loss of its elasticity. This is a Cooper's ligament. Okay. Areola of the breast. What is the areola of the breast? Areola of the breast is contained in voluntary muscles. Its epithelial contain numerous of its sweaty gland and sebaceous gland. Sweaty gland and sebaceous gland. Sebaceous gland is need during lactation to lubricant of the breast and the sweaty gland. A sebaceous gland, which is secreting sebum to lubricate the areola or uh, nipple during lactation of the baby, and during the pregnancy, a large in size and it's called Montgomery tubercle. So by this tubercle, we can know this patient have a pregnancy or pregnant or not. Then during pregnancy, this tubercle or this sebaceous gland will be enlarged and become Montgomery tubercle, called Montgomery tubercle. The nipple. What is the nipple? It is covered by thick skin. Mm -mm, thick skin because it's a site of lactation. And is a site of suckling by the baby during the breastfeeding. So near its apex, open lactiferous duct. There is about 15 to 20 lactiferous duct will be open in the nipple. <clears throat> it contains smooth muscle fiber. The smooth muscle fiber I arrange constrictly and longitudinally. Thus, it an erectile structure, which is point outward. To facilitate the suckling of the baby and the feeding of the baby, it erect tissue is erectile tissue. For during suckling by the baby will become erectile to facilitate a breast feeding for the baby. So <coughs> by the of PowerPoint, I can see there is a draw. Present of the hem, which would be in the nipple, the areola, and the lobules, the lactiferous duct, the subcutaneous tissue, and the breast, the anatomy of the breast. See in the PowerPoint with the PowerPoint. Okay, now we go to the blood supply of the breast. What is the blood supply of the breast? Important the blood supply of the breast, lymphatic drainage of the breast, and venous drainage of the breast. Very, very important. Why? Because it's responsible for the staging of the patient when get CA breast. So, the, as we know, the breast, the location of the breast between the second and the sixth intercostal, intercostal, Mus uh, ribs. So, from where come? Blood supply come from above and from lateral, from intercostal. For first of all, in the internal thoracic artery. The internal thoracic artery from, come from above. Menil subclavian, internal thoracic artery. What next? Intercostal arteries, this is intercostal arteries the from the thoracic aorta to tiny perforator intercostal arteries. What next? Lateral thoracic artery, lateral thoracic artery from the lateral. And then next, thoracoacromial artery. This is both branch, thoracoacromial artery, thoracoacromial artery comes from axillary artery and this is the axillary artery for the shuffle plus supply uh, not plus supply plus supply location of the breast from the second to the sixth intercostal space uh, ribs the artery come from above from this and two arteries from lateral and one artery from perforator of the thoracic aorta 
very very important and we see the picture and the uh, in powerpoint then what is the lymphatic drainage of the breast what is the lymphatic drainage of the breast lymphatic drainage is very very important and this is responsible for what responsible for the staging of the patient when we get patient to the CA breast this is the breast and this is the axilla <clears throat> about 85 percent 85 percent of axillary lymph node will go to the uh, from the breast go to the axillary lymph node 85 percent 85 percent of the lymph node go to the axillary lymph node and 15 percent only go to the internal memory lymph node <clears throat> The arrangement of the breast, the axillary lymph node, the axillary lymph node will be arranged in groups, the axillary, what? lateral group along the axillary vein, lateral group. What next? Anterior group along the lateral thoracic vessels. Posterior group along the subscapular vessels. Central group, all these lymph nodes will go to the drainage lymph node to the central lymph node, which is embedded in the fat of the central of the axilla. And from the central, go to the interpectoral lymph node between the pectoralis major, pectoralis minor muscles. All these lymph nodes go to the central lymph node. Central lymph node will be sent the lymph node to the apical group, which is like above the above the level of the pectoralis muscle tendon, the apical. And receive lymph node of all these group continuation with the supraclavicular lymph node and drain to the subclavian trunk. The chufal lymph node will go from the axillary lymph node and go from the breast to the axillary lymph node about 85%. 15% go to the inter internal memory lymph node. The 85% of the lymph node will go to the axillary. The axillary, uh, above, I have six groups. Lihia lateral group, anterior group, posterior group, central group, interpectoral group, and the apical group. Kula high went through Kula lymph node from the central go to the apical. The apical will be connected to the supraclavicular node and to the subclavian trunk. And the subclavian trunk will be descend to the all over the body. For Kula met after the diagnosis, diagnosis Kula men insir delay the diagnosis of the CA breast manata and we increase the staging of the patient according to the spread of the malignant cells along the lymph node or along the blood vessels. <coughs> then, and show the group the PowerPoint. Aidan and the recent توضيح يوضح لي the lymph node. اللي موجودة around the breast and the axillary lymph node when it goes to the subclavian and uh, the cervical lymph node. Internal memory lymph node, طبعا about 15% will be go to the internal memory, internal thoracic lymph node, or maybe go to the contralateral, uh, contralateral axillary lymph node. We can classify the uh, levels of the lymph node according to the levels. Level 1, level 2, level 3. Yani, I mean, I say we mastectomy, I do total mastectomy and axillary, axillary clearance up to level 2 or up to level 1. What that means? Level 1, it means the lymph node is located lateral to the pectoralis minor muscles. Then I'm a level 2, the lymph node is located behind the pectoral minor muscles. Level 3, medial to the pectoralis minor muscles. طبعاً هاي هنا الأدفانس اللي هي go to the level 3, medial to the pectoral minor muscles. Then. Now. يجيك سؤال يقول لك what are the anatomical layers of the breast. يعني أنا إذا أريد أسوي عملية الماستكتومي أو أريد أسوي axillary lymph node أو أسوي breast mass lymph node breast mass removal. What are the layers? 
anatomically from the superficial to the deepest layer. Then I will start layers من نبدي افتح واسوي surgical incision of the breast ابدي بالديرمس ورا تجي الديرمس ورا superficial layer of the superficial fascia بعدين يجين هنا الكوبرس ديجامنت الكوبرس ديجامنت اللي قلنا لكم هو it's responsible for the dipping of the skin اللي هو هلو ليجامنت ورا الكوبرس ديجامنت يجي glandular tissue of the breast بعدين تجيني deep layer of the superficial fascia فشوف هنا superficial fascia will be divided superficial fascia will be divided into superficial and deep this is superficial fascia superficial layer of the superficial fascia وهنا deep layer of the superficial fascia inside هنا عندي Cooper's ligament Cooper's ligament and next the glandular tissue and this is the glandular tissue the deep layer of the superficial but then you genie a retro memory space this is the retro memory space retro memory space is important this is retro memory space deep investing fascia and pectoral Pectoralis major muscles. Pectoralis major muscles here important anatomically. Pectoralis major muscles. This is the pectoralis major muscles. High muscles. Pectoralis major muscles. You will press all the guide when on the pectoralis major muscles. So that's why we do the mastectomy. The simple mastectomy. Simple mastectomy. And we do the modified mastectomy. Radical mastectomy. We do all the press till the pectoralis fascia. Pectoralis fascia اللي موجودة فوق ال pectoralis muscles must be not removed لأنه هي تعتبر barrier. How we diagnose of breast disease? Important لما أنا أجي أقول لك this is patient have breast pain. Patient complaining from the nostalgia. Patient complaining of from breast mass. Patient complaining of from nipple discharge. How we manage hair? Let me tell you. Any condition of the breast, lazim we must we must diagnose the case according to the triple assessment. Let me tell you. How the patient complaining from the mastalgia? How to do? How to diagnose hair? أو how to manage hair رأسا تقول لي رأسا بالوجه تقول لي this is according to the triple assessment patient containing from breast mass how to manage hair according to the triple assessment okay what is the triple assessment triple assessment involving history first history and the clinical examination first history and the clinical examination what is the history first history and clinical examination Important. What is the importance of this? History is very, very important to diagnosis of the breast disease. And the whole, and the the patient hygiene complaining from the breast abnormalities, or complaining from the breast mass, nostalgia, nipple discharge. What is the aim of our treatment of our management? Who the main aim is early diagnosis of the CA breast. There are no other conditions. If I delayed in the diagnosis, there is no problem for the patient. If the patient have a benign condition, like in if the patient have the CA breast and we are delay in diagnosis, that means we increase the staging of the patient, increase the grading of the of the patient, and this is will be affect on the treatment of the patient, the life expectancy of the patient. لذلك the our our aim management or the aim in the in our management of the patient complaining from the breast abnormalities who is the early diagnosis of the CA breast. Okay, what is the relation between the history and the CA breast? It's very important relation, very very important. I ask the history from the when I go to the patient complaining from the nipple discharge. Take a history from the patient. Lazim tibdi from the beginning. More recently, you asked me that 
How long you have a nipple discharge? No. You must start as scientific history, starting from the name of the patient, starting from the age of the patient, starting name, age, resident, occupational, and then chief complaint, duration, and then the history of presentness, and then continue systemic review, family history, medical history, surgical history, social history. فلازم تأخذ scientific history. Okay, what is the relation between the name and the say press? There is a relation. Yes. Relation from the name if the patient have and from the name of the patient, you know this patient have high educated patient or low educated patient. Usually, in patient situated in the rural area, will be uh, attend to the clinic delay. While in an educated patient, in highly educated central patient, usually come uh, with the CA press at the early stage. Okay, for history is important, and when and then we go directly to the complaint of the patient. So we analysis of the complaint of the patient, whether the nipple discharge, nipple discharge, but then the family history, but then the yani what a history of presentness, systemic review, the family history as important to question about a relation between the family history and the CA press patient, the hormonal therapy, patient social breastfeeding, pregnancy, children, and social, all these. And then after history, we go to the clinical examination. When the clinical examination, we go to the session and how to start with the examination of the breast. How to examine the breast. What are the characters of during examination, the character of the breast mass that more goes with the CA breast. After history and the clinical examination, we go to the radiological imaging. What are the radiological imaging? We see first on the mammography. But the mammography is a rule that the patient is more than 35 or 40 years years age اقدر ادرسها على الماموغرافي لانه باليانج ايج الماموغرافي ما ينفعني لانه بيكوز اوف ذا دينس فايبرس بريست تشو فاز ديفيكالت تو دايجنوز ابنورماليتي اوف ذا بريست نيكست هي الالترا ساوند الترا ساوند از فيري فيري امبورتنت اوف ذا بريست راح يحكي لي على الكاركتر اوف ذا بريست احتاج الالترا ساوند ايضا فور دايجنوسيس اند جايدنس فور بايوبسي Next, the imaging resonance, the imaging resonance useful in symptomatic patient with breast implant, patient in the mastectomy, so the breast implant to start in the recurrence. You find the magnetic resonance MRI of the breast. And finally, third here, the biopsy, usually ultrasound guided. طبعا FNA C is very important and, and the core biopsy. What are the difference between FNA and the core biopsy? FNA is we take a cells by simple uh, aspiration of the mass or the abnormal finding in the breast. We take a cell and send it for cytological examination and by this can diagnose if this cell is a malignant or benign but cannot diagnose this cells whether it's this malignant is invasive or not. While core biopsy, core biopsy is a take a piece of tissue and we send it for histopathological. The type of the malignancy, invasive or not. And also is helpful for diagnosis of the tumor marker, the RPR and the HER2. It's very important. We After diagnosis of the CA breast, we know the ERPR HER2, the tumor marker of that uh, tumor. What are they, positive or negative? What are the disadvantages of the FNAC cytology? It cannot diagnose whether it is invasive or non-invasive. <coughs> then, 
انا اكو بيكتشر بال ايضا بالباور بوينت نرويكم شلون ندوله فنيسي اللي هو سمبل سرنج عاديه نحصل الماس بتون تو فينجر اند نيجاتيف بريشر مالتيبل انترانس تو ذا ماس راح ناخذ سيلز ونجزها فور هيستو فور سايتولوجيكال اكزاميشن بينما الكور بايوكسي ناخذ بيس اوف تيشو اند سند ات فور ذا هيستو باثولوجيكال الماموغرافي طبعا ايضا هو اكس راي هارمليس Can use it in the pregnancy, not harmful in the pregnancy, and usually I have two view, cranial caudal and AP, and anterior posterior cranial caudal. Well, mammography can be able to see the finding of the abnormality of the breast and increase the diagnosis rate of this when the patient increasing in the age when there is decrease in the breast tissue dense. زين الكرايتيريا لما يجيك بيشنت وذ ماموغرافي جايب لك ماموغرافي وذ باور انت بالماموغرافي تشوف وات ار ذا كرايتيريا اوف ماموغرافي جوز مور جوز وذ ذا مالجنسي اهم كرايتيريا المايكرو كالسيفيكيشن لكن المايكرو كالسيفيكيشن لازم عندي اقل شيء مور ذان 6 مايكرو كالسيفيكيشن مور ذان 6 مايكرو كالسيفيكيشن بير كيوبيك سنتيمتر مايكرو كالسيفيكيشن لازم عندي على مود يصير دايجنوستيك لما يكون ريجولار ماس وذ مايكرو كالسيفيكيشن لما تكون ستركشر ديستورشن لما يكون اسيمتري بين ذا تو بريست اوف مايكرو كالسيفيكيشن لما يكون مور ذان 5 مايكرو كالسيفيكيشن اور يكون ان ذا سينك مارجن 5 5 او 6 بس من ال5 تبدي هي يعطيني اتنشن انه ذيس از مي جيت اوف مالجنسي Indecent margin, the margin of the mass, men by name, men more of her indecent five more goes with the malignancy. Here, of course, in the American College of Radiological Breast Imaging Report, we say more by rad. By rad, that is, you know, I mean, I'm in this patient of ultrasound. We're only say ultrasound of the breast. We're going to do the أبو الالترا ساوند راح يقول لي هاي بايراد 2 بايراد 3 بايراد 4 ما يعطيني اكسبلينيشن للسون مالته معناته انا اعرف انه انا لما يجيني زيرو معناته انكومبليت اسسمنت اور الاديشنال ايماجينج ايفالويشن بعد ناقص ما طاني تشخيص لما يجيني واحد بايراد 1 معناته هذا نيجاتيف نورمال ماموغرافي بايراد 2 بي 9 فايندينج بايراد 3 بروبابلي بي 9 فايندينج بس لازم اسوي فولو اب شورت انترفال فولو اب شوف 3 بينما 4 اكو سسبيشس اوف نورماليتي بايوبسي روح اخذ بايوبسي 5 هايلي سسبيشس اوف مالجنسي ابروبريت اكشن ماست بي تيك يعني اذا ما اما اسوي لها فان اي سي او اروح اسوي كور بايوبسي او اوكسجينال بايوبسي هايلي سسبيشس 6 هذا نو انون بايوبسي بروفن مالجنسي يعني هذا جاني عنده مالجنسي وروح اسوي له الترا ساوند على مود اور مامغرافي على مود تشيك انه اكو ريكيرنس ولا لا فالثيرد والفورث هنا شوي محيرين، الثيرد بروبابلي بي 9 بس لازم يسوي فولو اب انترفال. الفورث هذا سسبيشس هايلي سسبيشس اب نورماليتي بايبسي شود بي كونسيدرد. زين هناك بكتشر ايضا نعطيكم اياها يعني بالباور بوينت على الماموغرافي وشي يبين بالماموغرافي وبال ام ار اي. بعدين نبدي نحكي على الابنورماليتي اوف ذا نيبل. هسه نبدي ابنورماليتيز اوف ذا نيبل. وات ار ذا ابنورماليتيز ما يوكر ان ذا نيبل؟ طبعا هنا مي بي ابسنت اميز يسموها. مي بي مالتيبل نيبلز. اكو نيبل ريتراكشن هنا امبورتنت شوف هاي النيبل ريتراكشن امبورتنت نقول عليه ليش؟ لانه النيبل ريتراكشن از ذا وان ساينز اوف ذا مالجنسي لكن لما تجيني بيشنت كومبلينج فروم ذا نيبل ريتراكشن راح اسالها اقول لها امبورتنت كويشن لا تنسوا هذا الكويشن امبورتنت كويشن What about the nipple retraction? Is it recent or old? انتبه. Recent or old? If it is old, معناتا it's congenital. But this is not significant. Like a recent nipple retraction, لازم اخليها بالحسبان. انه هاي may be related to the CIA breast. DJ patient, recent nipple retraction, age more than 40 years, 40 years old, family history positive, hormonal therapy positive, high high suspicious with the malignancy لازم اخليها على triple assessment. The important question is whether it is old or recent. Then, 
طبعا البيكتشر تشوفوها بالباور بوينت هذا النبر تراكشن اللي موجوده بالنبر تراكشن النبر تراكشن طبعا عندي تو تايب اوف نبر تراكشن اما سليت لاك نبر تراكشن اور سيركم فرنشيال هذا ريسنت السيركم فرنشيال اذا ريسنت هو مور جوز وذ ذا مالجنسي بينما سليت لاك نبر تراكشن الريسنت هذا مور جوز وذ ذا وذ ذا داكتيكتيزيا احنا مو قلنا البريست البريست كونتين اوف ذا 20 lactiferous duct this is the duct but dactyctasia it means an inflammatory condition of the duct this is duct this will be an inflammatory attraction Inflam uh, inflammatory condition inflammatory condition trans with the with fibrosis fibrosis and attached to the nipple fibrosis will be pulled the nipple in one direction face a more slit lack سلت لايك نبر ريتراكشن سلت فالسلت لايك نبر ريتراكشن هو ديو تو ذا داكتيكتيزيا داكتيكتيزيا بينما اذا سيركمفرنشال نبر ريتراكشن معناته عندي مالتيبل لاكتيفرز داكت ويل بي انفولف هاي تسحب لي النبر ريتراكشن كلها سحبه واحده وتسوي لي كوز نبر ريتراكشن سيركمفرنشال اند ريسنت مور جوز وذ ذا مالجنسي Another condition is cracked nipple. Cracked nipple, I mean, usually occur during lactation, cracked by the baby of the nipple, and this is the site for bacterial invasion and may lead to the mastitis or breast abscess. Papilloma of the nipple, and papilloma idea, should I? And the eczema of the nipple is important. The eczema of the nipple is important. And differentiated the eczema of the nipple from the bajet disease of the nipple. Three or four difference between the eczema of the nipple and the bajet disease of the nipple. How important it is to know how to differentiate between these two condition. Condition is called the abrasion of Andy. What is Andy? Andy here abrasion of normal development and involution. It's a weird classification of the benign breast condition. Well, Andy, should we? And Andy, abrasion of the normal development and involution. Should we? And Andy, Andy, well, during the development of the breast, I will not tip the normal development of the breast. I could condition the high CRP normal development. And breast should be normal developed. If a start Slightly abnormal sar disease, يعني سار normal development. يعني أنا يجيني patient بعد young or بدت يصير بيها adolescence راح يصير بيها بال breast tissue will be production or proliferation of the breast tissue. هاي normal development. لما يصير more than abnormalities, nor يعني more than normal development راح يصير بيها يعني راح يصير بيها involution that it will become a disease. The benign breast disorder and disease are related to the normal process of reproductive life and involution. يعني in female أول ما تبدي يان بعدين يصير reproductive of breast tissue and the normal development بعدين تتحول إلى قد تتحول إلى abnormalities تتحول إلى disease. مثل إيش؟ بس نشوف. طبعا مثلا عندي ال early reproductive years يعني من 15 إلى 25 سنة. دور النورمال هو lobular development لازم يصير بي lobular development. disorder إذا هذا النورمال development صار more than the normal تحول إلى fibroadenoma. هاي disorder fibroadenoma benign. لكن متى تحول إلى disease لما يصير giant fibroadenoma more than 4 cm in size راح صار giant fibroadenoma. زين. لما واحدة مثلا ستروال ديفلوبمنت بالادوليسنس يصير هايبرتروفي او بالديزيز لما تتحول يصير جاينيكوماستيا تحولت الى ديزيز وين طبعا الليتر ايج مثلا من 25 الى 40 ايش راح يصير؟ سايكليكال يعني مثلا نورمال هو سايكليكال تشينجز اوف ذا منستويشن ديس اوردر لما يكون سايكليكال ماستالجيا لما البيشنت تيجي يصير عندك ماستالجيا جونج ذا مانس هاي ديس اوردر لما تتحول ديزيز يصير انكابستيتنج ماستالجيا يعني الم كلش قوي بالبريست جونج ذا مانس لازم نعطيها علاج 
وهكذا هذا يسموه الانتي زين اذا نبدا على ديسشارج اوف ذا نيبل طبعا البيشنت تجي كومبلين فروم ذا نيبل ديسشارج هاو تو مانج هير راح نقول لك انه نيبل ديسشارج بيند اون ذا تريبل اسسمنت وابدا اخذ التريبل اسسمنت لكن انا كنيبل ديسشارج هاو تو مانج هير سبيسيفيك يعني تجي انه هذا النيبل ديسشارج ابدا اخذ هيستوري عليه ومن اخذ هيستوري واسوي كلينيكال اكزامينيشن وايماجينج ستدي اشوف whether this is the nipple discharge it goes with the with the benign condition or malignant condition وهمين نرجع ونقول انه احنا الاور ايم اوف مانجمنت اوف بريست ديزيز هو تو ايرلي ديجنوز اوف ذا سي اي بريست فانا دورينج هيستوري اد اشوف انه هذا النيبل ديسشارج التايب اوف ذا نيبل ديسشارج الديوريشن اوف ذا نيبل ديسشارج اسوشيتد وذ ذا لامب presence of blood in the nipple discharge is the discharge from the single duct or more than the single duct there are many types of the nipple discharge قد يجيك blood bloody nipple discharge شنو الكوز اوف نيبل ديسشارج هو الموست كومن هو الدكت بابيلوما او قد يكون intraductal carcinoma قد يكون budget disease or قد يكون invasive carcinoma قد يجيني nipple discharge clear intraductal papilloma قد يكون مالتي كالرد يعني مره جرينش مره براون مره جرين وهذا مور جوز وذ دكتيكتيزيا قد يجيني يكون ملكي لما يصير جالكتوريا او ديورنج لاكتيشن بيريولنت لما يكون بريست ابسس التريتمنت طبعا اوف ذا نيبل ديسشارج هو اكوردنج تو ذا تايب اوف ذا نيبل ديسشارج لكن اني اهم شيء عندي اذا جيتي بيشنت with the bloody nipple discharge bloody nipple discharge and age more than 40 لازم اسوي early diagnosis uh, early detection of the CA breast or to exclude the aim of our management هو to exclude the CA breast لانه قلنا احنا انا لما اتاخر ب diagnosis of the CA breast اثر على حياة البيشنت لما اتاخر يعني اذا غلطت ب diagnosis وهو B9 ما يخوفني لكن لما اخر بالدايجنوز اوف ذا سي اي بريس هذا راح ياثر لي على البيشنت زين شنو السيمبتومز؟ وات ار ذا سيمبتومز اوف بريس ديزيز؟ يعني البيشنت تجيك بالبريس كلينيك شنو كومبلينج فروم ذا وات؟ من موست كومن complaining of the uh, breast disease the most common هم five common symptoms of breast disease ولازم اخلي هنا تعطيني warrant urgent attention يعني لما تجيني patient complaining from the nipple breast mass لازم اخلي اكو urgent attention new يكون uh, nipple discharge bloody nipple discharge nipple retraction altered the breast contour or doubling of the skin suspected of the patient disease patient tissue of the eczematous like lesion or not resolved by uh, anti allergic treatment رايح يعني عده اطباء جلد يوم تاع علاجات مال الرجي ومرا ومصايره زينه وراح تشوف انه النبر راح يصير بها ايرودد فاي خلي قد يكون دو تو ذا بادجت ديزيز فهاي الموست كومن كومبلين اوف ذا بيشنت لما تجيك بالبريست كلينيك الكومبليننج مالته قد يكون بريست ماس نيبل ديسشارج نيبل ريتراكشن ساين اوف ذا بيجت ديزيز اور عندي التر بالبريست كونتورينج لو اكو انا در كومبليننج قد تجيك بيشنت اسم اسم ترانودولاريتي ماستالجيا يعني وات ايرس وات از ذا ماستالجيا الماستالجيا از بريست بين We have two type of the mastalgia. Breast pain, قد يكون cyclical and non-cyclical. Cyclical mastalgia اللي هي تيجي usually with the men's premenstruation during menstrual cycle and patient complaining from the mastalgia and relief after menstruation. Non-mastalgia, non-cyclical mastalgia, or patient always complain from the breast pain. قد يكون due to the breast abscess أو قد يكون one of cause of CA breast don't forget this قد يكون Tourette syndrome contracted of the costal cartilage or chest wall invasion مثلا herpes zoster this is not small non cyclical بس لما تجيك patient complaining from the mastalgia how to manage her راح تقول لي according to the triple assessment 
ورح ادي هيستوري عن كلينيكال اكزامينيشن من الهيستوري راح اعرف انه هذا البين هو سايكليكال او نون سايكليكال most of the cyclical pain who can be relieved by يعني reassure the patient and we give um, reassurance when it's استعمل انه appropriate fitting and supporting supportive bro and primrose oil tab نستعمل avoiding the coffee may be helpful ونستعمل oil of evening primrose one by three for three months Uh, more, uh, half of the patient will be resolved from the nostalgia. إذا ما فاد راح استعمل anti gonadotrophin hormone مثلا دانوزيل or prolactin inhibitor as promocryptin. And the last chance of treatment of the nostalgia. Non cyclical nostalgia you must be exclude the cause and treat the cause. قلنا الدكت كتير زي هي inflammation of the lactiferous duct و inflammation هذا قد يجي اما يجي from inside lactiferous duct و and spread to the surrounding surrounding of the duct or sometimes say that the inflammation of the lactiferous uh, surround the lactiferous duct and invade the duct by the bacteria causing inflammation of the lactiferous duct inflammation of the lactiferous duct will be caused with the fibrosis And this uh, fibrosis is uh, so we see it like mm, nipple retraction, and because of the accumulation of the bacteria, I say we need mass, subarular mass, sometime or, uh, cystic swelling in subarular. I detect it easy. طبعا treatment مالتها هو antibiotic. I'm using abdi and it's a little like nipple retraction. و نيبل ديسشارج مس بي اكسكلودد مالغنسي باي تريبل اسسمنت وبعدين تريتمنت افتر دايجنوز اوف ديكتيك تيز تريتمنت باي انتيبادي انتيبايوتيك اف نوت ريزولف وي كان ريموف ذا داكت باي سيرجري البريسست ذيس اوكير ذا لاست ديكيد اوف البرودكتيف لايف ديو تو ا نون انتجريت انفولوشن اوف ثرومال اند ابيثيليم More integration between the stromal and the epithelial tissue. I see the cyst usually occur in the last decade of productive life and build 14, 14s and build 40 years. They are often multiple and maybe bilateral and maybe mimic a breast cancer. Taman 10% of the breasts may get breast cancer, as we saw aspiration uh, um, assessment. Sometimes a pneumocystogram can be obtained by injection of the air inside the cyst. And then obtaining repeat mammography. لما أدفع air in the cyst راح يعطيني good characteristic of this cyst. The cavity may be carefully assessed for any irregularities. Then how to manage this cyst? طبعاً أنا شو ال picture موجودة عندكم بال ultrasound the cyst يبين مثل dark. فالسيست لازم انا اخلي من يجي لازم اسوي له اسبريشن وسنت فور سيتولوجيكال اكزامينيشن تو اكسكلود اني مالجنان سيلز 30% راح يصير بيركانت اند نيد انذر اسبريشن اذا ثلاث مرات صار يعني مرتين سوينا اسبريشن مره ثالثه رجع راح نسوي اكسجينال بايوبسي اند سنت فور ذا هيستوباثولوجي جالكتوسيلز What is the galactose? Galactose seal. Seal means cyst. In galactose, it's a halib. So galactose seals are a kind of halib. It is a rare condition, usually present with a solitary subarular cyst, and always dates from the lactation. It contains milk. So we will say it's a rare condition. Meaning, it's a rare condition. Meaning, according to the CIA press, for example, meaning, in our lives, we have seen two cases of the galactose seals. The character when I take a triple assessment of this. Condition uh, important in the history to have important information about galactosis. It will like a patient, doctor. I have a mass after feeding of the baby, the mass will be resolved, and it will be decreased in size and then re enlarge. High الفقره very important diagnosis of the galactosis. Then we kiss Halib during lactation will be decreased in size. And after lactation, and after the lactation, or after it comes in milk, it will see an increase in size. This is very important information for diagnosis of the galactosis. 
usually diagnosed as a triple assessment from the oxygen. The fibroadenoma is very um, uh, is very common benign condition occur in young age, female. Usually, it may be solitary or it may be bilateral. It may be multiple fibroadenoma. Common, the common age occur between 15 to 25 years old. It arises from the hyperplasia of the single lobules and usually grow up to 2 3 cm. Like in Lematosal, more than 4 cm is called, called giant fibroadenoma. The treatment malate can be removed surgically by the cosmetic incision. More than 4 or 5 cm, a giant fibroadenoma. The clinical feature of the fibroadenoma usually in the surgical patient coming from breast mass, like when you show the age mass, young, for the type of histology clinical examination or imaging study, or when you have the FNA diagnosis of the fibroadenoma, clinical examination, you show mass, well defined mass, well age, marketing age, not attached to the skin, not attached to underlying structure, no axillary lymph node. And usually uh, not tender, usually not tender, and it's freely mobile. It's called mouse of the breast, freely mobile. Sometimes producing pain will be menstrual period and will be resolved after menstruation. Most of the fibroadenoma are the self limiting and may go undiagnosed. So more conservative approach is reasonable. So man, many types of treatment of the fibroadenoma, and no only fibroadenoma because of most of the self-limiting, sometimes resolve spontaneously, it is better to uh, patient become follow-up. If it's a large in size, we can remove it. If the patient wish to remove, remove it. And a criteria for surgical removal of uh, uh, fibroadenoma. Yeah, and if most patient is in fibroadenoma, small two cm, one cm, as we incision or remove the fibroadenoma. Yes, then no optimal maybe recur, or maybe occur to the other side. For any could not see fibroadenoma, as we incision, we not have no answer. I mean, bad cosmetic appearance of the breast. لذلك أن a patient with the fibroadenoma after we be sure of diagnosis it's a benign condition fibroadenoma it's better to put it under observation we do surgical if it is patient wish if this produce severe pain menstrual pain or if it's enlarged in size phylloid tumors phylloid means leaf like this tumor have many of clinical features. It is a true neoplasm with wide range of characteristics from benign to malignant phylloid. Now, the first may be benign and the second may malignant. According to the grading, it is low, intermediate, or high grade phylloid tumor, depending on their microscopical feature. And I'm going to tumor that is a microscopical appearance, histological exam, histopathological examination. Now, here you go low grade fever, low grade tumor, intermittent grade fever, or high grade, but not according to the cells. If you have a cytological examination or histopathological examination, Dr. Hamid Lamey, if you have it, you will say low or high grade according to the character of the cells. The clinical feature of this mass was a firm, discrete lump, large, sometimes massive. Occasionally, ulcerate of overlying skin, you know, it's large in size, or we can picture it in PowerPoint. It may be metastasis via the bloodstream. May you want to note the bloodstream? We show file picture and show the picture of the phylloid tumor in PowerPoint, and we can picture. The treatment malate is better to wide local excision. If large tumor and the small breast can do mastectomy with immediate reconstruction. Traumatic fat necrosis, this is mimic of the CA breast and the patient with the breast mass 
والايج 40 و50 لازم اخذ منها ممكن تربل اسسمنت من الهيستوري اسال اف ذير از اني تروما لان هنا احنا عندنا تقاليد مجتمعنا لانه لطم وهذا مرات يصير ضربه على البريست فالبريست يسوي لي فات نكروزز وتبقى هاي الفات نكروز مسوية لي فد ماس ميميك تو ذا سي اي بريست زين الأكوت إنفلاميشن أوف ذا بريس طبعا الأكوت إنفلاميشن أوف ذا بريس هو الماستايتس الماستايتس الموست كومن يجي بريس أبس البيشنت كومبلينغ فروم بريس أبس تسأل البيشنت هذول لما ناخذ تربل أسسمنت أوف ذا بيشنت وذا بريس أبس إنه تقول لك البيشنت هاف بريس فيدينغ وبعد البريس فيدينغ صار عندي يعني بريس ماس بين وتند من تسوي الاكزاميشن تلقى بين وتندر وهوتنس وردنس اكزيلير فلود مي بي انفولف يعني انفلاماتري كونديشن زين والدوريشن مالته مثلا 3 دايز 4 دايز دوريشن يانج ايج 20 25 ييرز اولد معناتها اي جوز وذ ذا بريس ابسس زين ف يعني لما يجيكم سؤال مثلا يقول لك انه بيشنت بريس ماس واكو هيك كاركتر بين وتندر وهوتنس وردنس و 25 or 35 years old to breastfeeding diagnosis بين breast abscess ما اقول سي اي بريست حتى ذا اكزيلاري ريف نود موجوده الاكزيلاري ريف نود موجوده هي ديو تو ذا انفلاماتوري كونديشن فالكلاسيفيكيشن اوف ذا انفلاميشن اوف بريست هو الماستايتس نيونوتوروم هي شنو هذا انفلاميشن اوف ذا بريست ديو تو ذا ستاف ارياس اور ايكولاي فيري ايريولار اسوشيتد وذ ذا بريدكتال ماستايتس Acute bacterial mastitis may be bacterial lactational or non-lactational. Like no, most common one, lactational breast abscess. Then, etiology. Taman ne me iji etiology breast abscess huwa akid il cause malata huwa staphylococcus aureus. Udole da amen huwa penicillin resistance. Like ne me iji patient in the inflammatory condition of the breast. ماستايتس الماستايتس تختلف عن البريست ابسس شلون تختلف البريست ابسس هو ذير از لوكلايز سوالينج وبين وهوتنس وتندرنس وفلكشويشن اوف ذيس سوالينج هذا بريست ابسس الكوز مالته هو ستاف ارياس التريتمنت مالته درينج وذ انتي بايوتيك لكن الماستايتس ذير از وايد سبريد انفلاميشن اوف ذا سكن ما عندي لوكلايز سوالينج اريديماتس اوف ذا سكن هاي الكوز مالته ستريبتوكوكاس in treatment with the penicillin. واكو بيكتشر مروكم اياه اني بالباوربوينت هو الفرق بين البريست ابسس اند الماستايتس. زين. فيجيني بيشنت بريست ابسس هاو تو من اقول لك هذا البيشنت 25 ييرز اولد بريست فيدينغ لوكلايز بين وتندر وهوتنس وردنس هاو تو مانج ذيس كيس راح تقول لي باس انيوير ماست بي درين هاو تو درين ات. كنا قبل نسوي درينج اوف ذا باس باي سمول انسيجن وبعدين انتروديوس موسكيتو اوبن ذا انسيجن ايفاكويت ذا باس انتروديوس ماي فينجر ونسوي شويه فره بالفينجر نسوي دامجينج اول ذا ترابيكولي اوف ذا بريست راح نطلع لارج اوف ذا بريست نخلي ويك ودريسنج ديلي وناخذ الباس فور كالتشر اند سنسيتيفيتي Now a day, they know how that due to the recurrence, when I'm the cosmetic of the breast, they know the scar will be there. So I say we first of all by multiple aspiration by wide gauge needle, aspiration of the mass of the abscess. What am I say we aspiration of the abscess? Did they send culture sensitivity or anti proper antibiotic? If result, if not response to this, we can do drainage. لكن it's better by do multiple aspiration with the wide gauge needle and covered with the antibiotic. Then, the wonder is this is what you know the thrombophlebitis the superficial veins of the breast and the anterior chest walls and wonder is this is. But a common feature was thrombosis of cutaneous cord. Usually, in shoe on the breast tissue or at chest wall, a cord like structure was the thrombosis of the subcutaneous cord. Then, lump in the breast. What means lump in the breast? Ninety-five percent of breast lump will be one of the four following. Antigenic patient complaining from the breast lump. 
95% of هذا ال 95% هي واحدة من دول الأربعة يا إما carcinoma of the breast يا إما cyst يا إما fibroadenoma يا إما fibroadenosis in addition قد يكون ال 5% الباقية قد يكون تروما قد يكون galactosis قد يكون abscess cyst adenoma retention cyst من تغموري gland مثلا يعني other causes Breast tumor. Are the classes of breast tumor? And the benign and the malignant. The benign is the intraductal papilloma, phylloid tumor, phylloid tumor with low grade, the benign, or fibroadenoma. That is called cyst. The malignant are the classes of breast tumor malignant. Is it primary or secondary? The primary is the intraductal carcinoma, the most common. Invasive carcinoma, the Paget disease of the nipple, sarcoma, secondary to the breast. Secondary main gene, a gene in direct invasion from a tumor in the chest wall or metastatic deposit from the melanoma. First, I'm going to carcinoma.